Next up, it's... Flicka time. Python on hardware time. Yes. We have a newsletter. You can sign up for it at adafruitdaily.com. Yes. And I'm um, going to show a little bit about it. I'm going to save this part for the end because I have a separate thing that okay. I'm going to do with this. All right. So we're going to skip to this part. Um, over on Tom's Hardware, they covered the um, MicroPython and CircuitPython merge, which is kind of cool. Mm. Um, we have more and more of MicroPython and CircuitPython. We're all caught up. Coming, coming together. Yeah. Snake friends. Um, this young person showed how to mix MicroPython and CircuitPython code in the same file using Raspberry Pi Pico. You can check out um, some of the Pimeroni CircuitPython they've baked in to their um, platform to tech libraries and their MicroPython helper library. As we uh, talked about uh, on show and tell, um, one of the new features we have is you can disable this CircuitPython USB devices in boot.py. So basically like in seven, um, it's easier and better to use it as like a keyboard or an HID device. This is really cool. Um, just make sure you know what you're doing with some of this stuff. Um, and then uh, you can see our Desk of Lady Ada coverage, and when we talked about the RP2040 Trinky, um, we'll have that out soon. And then um, do check out the giant amount of Python on hardware news uh, from recaps from Wait, PyCon. It's Scott hanging out with a purple snake, and then a purple lady hanging out with a Scott snake. <laughs> I thought this was kind of neat. Um, guy, in the, guy in the middle, just guy like, in the middle hey. you're missing a snake. <laughs> Um, Where's your purple something or snake? I thought something? this was cool. Yeah, but uh, I thought this image was neat. This is uh, from the Python Software Foundation um, language. Uh, no real snakes were harmed in any of these photos. <laughs> no, um, from the uh, Language Summit Lightning Talks. So check that out. So we have all those things. And you can uh, get a recap from the Deep Dive with Scott and many other things. So there is so many keyboard projects and so many different Python things. And then um, the creator of Python just did... Uh, some recent interviews, we posted up that, and uh, there were some follow-up stories, and we have those as well. Um, so check this out. Uh, I guess okay. one, one big uh, headline or uh, phrase is, uh, believe it or not, from Hacker News. And the oh, quote, no, not yeah, the Ironsight. Yeah, the, well, so the, the quote is, CircuitPython is my go-to for teaching people how to program. Um, and read the whole story. But you can start to see what we've been seeing because we're like, you know, we, we pay very close attention to what the community says, why they like the stuff we do. And it's, it's become the tool or the thing to get people started so quickly. And even for kind of a tough crowd, which I'd say Hacker News is, um, high praise. Mm. So anyways, check that out and check out all the news and more. Um, we're almost up to 9,000 subscribers. So if you haven't, please uh, sign up on adafruitdaily.com. One of the things we do is it's completely disconnected from our shopping site because we don't like when we go to shopping sites and then someone all of a sudden starts sending us newsletters. We do not like that. Nope. So you go to adafruitdaily.com, we'll never spam you and you get the newsletter. So the big news for this week is um, TI who makes these calculators. This is a TI-84. Now in color, the compared one, to the ones I remember. The one that's coming color, out yeah. has a fork of CircuitPython on it. And we were like, huh, that's interesting. And apparently a teacher already got it. And they were like, yep. And they tweeted about it. And then we're like, that's interesting. We, like, we want to know more. Um, a friend of ours, uh, well, friend now, uh, chatted with TI and it was on their live chat and says, what are all the modules included with it? And they sent me a screenshot of their chat and I'm like, this is looking pretty good. It looks like this is real. Mm. The fork of CircuitPython is mm. shipping on TI-84 calculators mm. on all of them. Then they tweeted Mac at us and says, hi, our Python app on the TI-84 plus CE Python uses CircuitPython with some modifications. The other components of the apps were developed by us, the TI-84 plus CE Python Graphing calculators are coming soon in the U.S. and we will be available for the back-to-school season. So the big nice. news, the big news for us is um, we uh, we emailed with them and they said I can interview their developers. So I'm going to find out why they chose it, why they chose to uh, have a Focus Circuit Python on there, and more. So this is kind of a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah. So, anyways.